What's going on guys? My name is Avery and you're watching Avery's Tutorials. Guys, today is literally my f like third day uploading in a row. I know it's insane here on this channel, especially with like m someone like me who barely posts on this channel. Anyways guys, um, it, but if you want to see uh, like vlog footage every three days, then make sure you go to my uh, vlog channel. Like I think like the first or second link in the description guys. Anyways guys, today for this Vegas Pro 13, 14, 15 tutorial, what I'm going to be teaching you all is the most important keyboard shortcuts these things I use almost daily when editing and I edit daily trust me I do you just need these if you have Vegas and they will make your life a lot easier when editing let's get into it already guys so basically um, the first thing I use here is to play back my footage instead of going like here and like playing back your footage and it's like so terrible um and like you just have to keep clicking i just use spacebar guys and it works well for playback um and just playing in general you know and it just works and yeah it yeah spacebar works a lot easier than just going around clicking right up here and like you know what not it's just a lot easier but you guys next thing i do to uh, say i just opened vegas or say you just opened vegas and you don't want to right click insert video track right click insert audio track because that's literally terrible Alrighty, guys so what you want to do um instead of just right clicking and adding them in what you can do is control shift q and control q and that's literally that simple and it works quite well. Another thing, guys, is sometimes, if say you have multiple tracks, right? And you don't want to take your time coming over here and like, and it can get confusing, it can get boring, it can get confusing, and just, yeah, everything. Basically, hold control and take your mouse scroll wheel and just literally scroll down. Hold control while scrolling down, and it's that simple, guys. I'm telling you, it's that simple. Alrighty, guys, here comes the next one, and is another way to do things very quick. Some people, like, you know, they right-click on the track, and then click split. No, that takes time. It's it's really shouldn't be that way. Basically, guys, um, just click S. Some people are like, Avery, how are you doing this? You are a freaking robot. Um, why? How are you just splitting your tracks this simple you're not even right clicking and the thing is you're right guys i'm not even right clicking and clicking split literally all you have to do is click s on your keyboard to split that stands for split okay that's what it stands for right and so if you ever need to split there there you go next one guys say you have all these little things and you don't want to take your time right clicking and delete them all Right? So click on the one that you really, like the first one that you want to delete. Then hold control and delete and like click on all the other tracks or all the other little things you want to delete. And then right click and delete. There we go. They're all there. Next up guys, basically say you have like um, two tracks and they aren't like, they, or they aren't the same. Say there's like, yeah, the same length. But like say this one has a couple splits in them and like they aren't. Like they aren't together really, they aren't, you know, good. Uh, basically, what you want to do is hold control while clicking on the first layer, or the clicking on the first track, clicking on them all, and then holding G. Just click G. And boom, that literally grouped them all together, didn't it? Alrighty guys, there we go, congratulations. You just, like, you just grouped your things together. You just grouped two tracks together so you didn't have to literally move them out like you know one by one by one and it just saved you a bunch of time didn't it coming up for the next one guys very simple um say you're like super far into your video even though it's not really that far and like you just the beginning of the video is so far away right and you don't want to like take your time maybe dragging it or like clicking what you want to do is you just want to click W and that brings you to that brings your marker and everything to the beginning of the video. So yeah, it's it, I use it a lot. Another thing is sometimes maybe you need to make an edit, but you need to make the edit later on in the video and you 
don't want to lose your place or something like that. Press M and it'll make like a little marker there. So then you know, and you can literally rename this marker whatever you want and it'll stay there. Also you can click it, right click and delete and it'll delete the marker itself as well. Another marker that some people use is N. I don't, I've never used this once in my life. I've never used it once in my life, but I know it's there. I don't even know what it's for, but okay. Another thing guys is L. Um, L like increases the speed of how fast you go. And it just like also is like more of a play thing, you know, like it plays the video at the speed you want it to and it's just great. Another thing guys, say there's like many splits in your tracks, um, duplicate, say there's like, say there's a split right here, say there's this big split, just double click in that empty area and of course you don't want to drag all your little clips, right? You don't want to drag all your little clips there and line all the music tracks up and everything else. My, like line all the little like sound effects and everything else just double click in that area click delete on your keyboard and then control F there you go you just group those together they aren't completely grouped and they are still loose but it's very 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 helpful and I use it a lot like boom look at this big area who I know y'all don't wanna you know Y'all don't want to take the time and drag these out, right? Well, here's what you can do. Double click, delete, control F. And there you go. You just did it. Boom. And there we have it, guys. If there are any keyboard um, shortcuts that I may or may have missed that you use, then please let me know down in the comment section below. And it'll just, like, help me out a lot. Anyways, guys, I'll see you all in the next video. <laughs> Peace out.